If you're a person that's cooking for a family, you have a dinner party and you don't have a lot of money to spend, you want it to look good and you want it to look elegant, this is the dish that you need to make. Now these spies are amazing. The bone is out, skin is crispy. We have these beautiful charred lemon and we grill them till they're charred and almost black. They give a nice acid counterbalance. Cinnamon and it has this wonderful sauce that we made with honey and sriracha. A little bit of cumin to give that little smoky flavor. If you do not make this, you're missing out. It's super elegant, great for dinner parties, great for family. It comes together super fast. And I'm gonna show you how to make this right now. So we're gonna start out with the chicken thighs. It'll tell you if it has the bone in and the skin on. These apparently have the skin on and I know that they have the bone in. These are the ones that I like to purchase because I like the skin. Let me tell you my reasons why. The, the skin is gonna actually be like a barrier to not to dry out as fast. If you don't like the skin or somebody in your family doesn't like the skin, just cook it with the skin and then remove it at the end. It's really super easy. And it also provides like a nice little gravy uh, at the end. I'm gonna remove the bone because once we're at the dinner table, I don't want people cutting around the bone. You know, they're putting the bone on a, on a plate. It just doesn't look great. So if you open up the chicken, you'll see that with your finger, you can kind of go down and go around the bone. And then that way you can kind of like peer in and see, and then you can get your knife and then go in and cut. Cut down around the meat very carefully. But you wanna like with your fingers go around so that you can see the bone. So now that I can see the bone, I'm gonna go in here and slice away and make sure that I'm kind of keeping my knife close to the bone, that also I am not scraping the bone to get any cartilage in here. Go through, just kind of follow the bone, just a little strokes. Pull down, it'll pull down like this. You can see the bone and then you'll cut. You can keep this for like chicken stocks freeze them and you know then use them later. I wouldn't throw them out. I'm gonna search inside and look for, make sure that I don't have any like ligaments or cartilage and then I'm going to put it to the side. You wanna salt this really well all around, get it under on the back side and then you get it on the skin because it'll pull out the moisture from the skin and make the skin even crunchier and be generous. You can add your spices that you like, like you can add tarragon, you can add oregano, you can add thyme, you can add whatever it is that you want. Some cinnamon, and I would add like a teaspoon to two teaspoons, and I'd get it, you know, kind of, just kind of make sure that it's all over the chicken on the back side and on the front side. Some just plain old vinegar, a quarter cup. Smudge it around and make sure that it covers all the meat. And this is also gonna help in unraveling the proteins some cumin so that it has kind of like that smoky flavor and then oregano and some tarragon. And the tarragon is gonna kind of accentuate the, the kind of illusion of sweetness that the cinnamon has. And this is also gonna give a nice like foil of anise to the chicken. The main thing that you need to remember for this recipe is the vinegar and the salt. That's it. If you don't wanna add any cinnamon or any of the other things, then don't add it in. The salt is gonna brine the chicken even more and then the vinegar is gonna make the meat even unravel a little bit more. And we're gonna put this into the cooler for about an hour to an hour and a half. So the next thing that we're gonna start on now is we're gonna do the marinade. So we're gonna get a garlic clove to two garlic cloves per chicken. You don't wanna, you don't wanna chop it. All you wanna do is just smash it like this. And this is gonna be the pan sauce. You can use three to four tablespoons of honey and a tablespoon of hot sauce. Just taste it and see how you like it. And then if you want herbs, just add the herbs that you want. We're gonna add the garlic. And there's a chemical compound called allicin that's inside the garlic and it's gonna spread throughout this liquid. And then when it gets heated up, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of flavor the liquid even more with a very nice light garlic flavor. You're gonna cut the tips off, and then you're gonna cut them in like thick slices. Now, even though this one does juicy squeeze that, I can still use that for a decoration. And it still is gonna have lemon essence in there when we grill it. It's so easy. 
So I like to use one of these non-stick pans. I use them a lot. You can use, you know, stainless steel. I just find that the cleanup with this is easier. I'm gonna put just maybe a tablespoon of olive oil. If you need more olive oil, then use more olive oil. So you're gonna wanna dry the chicken as well as you can, like on a paper towel. Place it skin down. You're gonna cook this for five to six minutes until the actual skin is crispy. So all you have to do is just turn it over. And if it's not crispy, then keep going. And so this is how you do it family style. You basically get like a, you know, a little platter. And you place all the chickens on here. You put some of them with the skin up and some of them with the flesh up. So it kind of looks really nice. Clothes and kind of strategically place them around so they look nice. This, when I plop this over there, it's going to be gone. I love you guys. See you guys soon. Have a great week. Hold your horses. Gosh, you guys are so demanding. <laughs>